Hello and welcome to another Peatman Reviews. Today we have Transformers Generation 1 Laserbeak. Uh, this is the commemorative uh, anniversary release. So, to begin with, uh, as we can see, Laserbeak comes in this little cassette as box, as is quite common now for a lot of these Transformers. So, this is the basic cassette. Um, as we can see, obviously that's the little rabbit quite cold at the moment, it is December when this is being recorded so that will take a while to show up. And that's the other side, so that's the non-laser beak, or the non-cassette side of it. So there we are, that's quite detailed. Now, laser beak comes with the normal kibble that you expect from a Generation 1 toy. Um, these do look quite nice though with the chrome effect, I quite like how these look. So, on to the transformation. Obviously, being a cassette, laser beak is a fairly simple transformation. So we flip him over like that. These are his wings. So these flip out like this. It's probably easiest, once you've done this, now to do his feet. So these flip down like that. And then again on that side, and that produces laser beak's feet. The wings can now go all the way back, so like so. And the head just extends. Try and do this so that you can see as well. There we are. So, there we go. Like that, laser beak actually looks quite good. However, what we then do is we then get these, these elements. So, first one goes on like so. See, they go through into the little holes here. And then the second one goes on thus. And there we have laser beak. Um, despite being a simple transformation and a simple transformer, that is actually one of the best looking alt modes or the best looking robot modes of any of them. It looks pretty much exactly as it does in both the cartoon series and the comic series. Uh, it's particularly the commemorative edition is very very shiny which is quite nice. I'm sure the original was shiny as well but the original is many years old now and I never actually owned it so I can't compare. But that's a really good looking toy. So that's Laser Beak. Now I just want to compare him with his masterpiece, masterpiece version of Buzzsaw. So as you know Buzzsaw and Laser Beak were exactly the same mould so there's only real distances the colour. As we can see, in the Masterpiece version of Buzzsaw, everything comes connected, so there is no additional kibble. And it makes for quite a nice looking transformer. But I do think Laserbeak Generation 1 version looks better. Uh, and when we hold the two comparison, Laserbeak is slightly larger than Buzzsaw. The two do go very well together, but I just think Laserbeak looks a nicer, nicer robot. Um, we then take Laserbeak's master, Soundwave. Now, as you can see with Soundwave, I just put his arm out like that because, as I discovered from watching another review, that fits perfectly on there for Laserbeak. Um, and Soundwave's arm's strong enough to actually hold him without it tipping over. And that's a really good look for them. Um, it's exactly as one would expect Soundwave to look, and I'm sure he has done poses like this in the TV series. I would imagine Buzzsaw will also sit on there as well, but maybe not quite as easily. Perhaps we'll stop that now. So there we have it, Laserbeak. Now, Laserbeak again is one of those Transformers, because he doesn't talk, in the, particularly in the cartoon series, he's not got a massive amount of personality to him. Uh, even in the comics, it's implied that Laserbeak knows what's going on um, and he is very intelligent, but he doesn't speak, so he doesn't have that personality to it. In the IDW comics, lately they have given both Laserbeak and Buzzsaw more to say, but they're still very emergent personalities. They're more they're almost like a mini version of Beavis and Butthead. They're just commenting and just laughing at other people without actually doing anything. But in terms of the toy, I think Laserbeak is top notch. As I say, one of the best looking of all of them. Um, it's very nice chrome on it. Let's just hope that doesn't wear. Oh, there we are. I'll put it back into focus. It's very nice chrome on it. Let's just hope that doesn't 
uh, flake off or anything or dull. But that's a really good looking robot on there. So there we are. Thank you very much for, for listening. Um, please leave any comments below and we'll see you on the next show. Thank you very much. Goodbye.